Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I've got a uh, secondary chill water pump motor to replace. It's uh, 30 horse, I believe, and uh, the motor had burned out. Uh, there's two secondaries in this plant, so we're going to get that one up and going. The other secondary has got a uh, water leak, so I can't uh, do anything with that until I get this one going. And uh, back at the same site where uh, I just changed a belt on the cooling tower. Uh, I did receive the other belt, so I might get to that. I don't know. But anyways, uh, it's starting out kind of gloomy today. The, it's supposed to rain a lot today, so it's a little bit after 7. It's still dark out. So anyways, here we go. All right, so here's our uh, secondary pump. It is uh, 30 horse. Uh, taking out a sentry, putting in a bow door. Uh, it's on a Danfoss drive over there. I do have it locked out. So yeah, we're gonna swap this one out. This is the other secondary. You see the base is wet. And uh, when I popped it open the other day, it looked like uh, the wheat ports underneath are leaking. So I can't do anything with it until we get this one back up and going. And we can valve this one off and uh, most likely pulling out a split case. I'll tell you what, this motor looks a lot bigger, but it is also 30 horse. Well, this just came to a screeching halt. Our rail's broken up front here. All right, so that didn't go as planned. Uh, here's the broken pieces off that rail. So we're gonna have to locate some, uh, some new rails or fabricate some. Uh, it's just inch and a half square U-channel. So we'll see if we can get that. All right, well, while I'm waiting for an answer on those rails, I do have the belt for that tower right there. So we can at least change that out. And, uh, you know, we're not without chilled water. The other pump is working, it's leaking. But, uh, yeah, so let's change the belt. All right, so some of you guys asked about the uh, blade going backwards on the one that I did change the belt on. It was just some uh, camera trickery, so it's definitely going the right direction. So. Alright, so we're going to change the belt on this tower, this uh, tower one, and we're locked out. All right, these are the same uh, setup. My uh, pulley grooves, they look pretty good. This is plenty of slack.
birds feel good. Both sides. Okay. Alright, we'll tighten that back up. And good to go. Got a little bit of can't tell if it's a blade, but these bearings definitely look uh, more rusted than the other one. It's good and level. Since we're here and I got another brand new boat, we're gonna swap that one out because that one was in the chiller room for a little while and uh, just gonna put a new one on there because we're doing them both. We're doing both at the same time, both brand new. Alright, so even though we just put this on, already. So I think this belt's just been sitting around a little too long. We got a brand new belt. I'll have to put it on. Alright, tighten her up. And the rain is starting. It's only a couple hours late. Alright, this should be the last time for this. Good. Alright, let's get off here before it starts raining more. Alright, we got them both back on, so should be good for belts for a while. The rain's starting to pick up. Alright, so it looks like our plans were foiled today. Uh, these rails are really cracked. The more I look at them, the more I don't like them. That one's got a crack. This one's got a crack. Uh, everybody's got a crack here. So, uh, still waiting to hear if we're gonna get uh, rails. Uh, we do have our own in-house uh, welding fabrication shop. So, um, gonna figure something out there. I'll end up, uh, I have a strap and chain fall. Usually they'll just, suspend it here and I can just lift the motor and we can work on that stuff uh, when I get it but it's unfortunate but sometimes that's how it goes you, know, you get started on something and you find more problems so uh, but yeah going back to the plant here this is um, two York screw chillers these are YRTCs. I believe somebody else commented they found out they're 240 ton. Uh, I have them both off right now because there's nobody in the building. Uh, it's an unoccupied day, so uh, light load, and I don't need the noise. So we got dueling chillers. All right, so maybe some of you guys don't know, but uh, this is our energy management system, uh, they use Andover controls here. So basically, uh, it's building management. So 
So you get our start-stop signals for all the chillers, the pumps, and also the, the BFDs come through here. So that starts the ball rolling. So that'll start our signal to turn on the chillers, turn, turn on the pumps. So the condenser pumps will start pumping water through the condenser barrel, back out, and they will go out to the tower, come back from the tower, and go back into the condenser barrel, which is this barrel right here, and keeps on repeating that process. There's a basin in the cooling tower out there where we were working, and basically like a big uh, swimming pool, and just all that water, hot water that's coming from the cooling tower will be pumped up to the top. It rains down through uh, some sprayers and travels through some fill. Air is drawn through this side and out the top. And that air passing by the water that's falling cools it off. The water sits in the basin, comes back and gets recirculated through to uh, cool down our condenser so we can condense our refrigerant. And the chill water, primary pumps, they're coming up and they tee off. They go into the chill water uh, barrel, evaporator barrel here. They'll come back out and then they get sent over to the secondary pumps. And these secondary pumps are what takes the water and pumps it back out through the building. So, and comes back up, starts the whole process over again. And it's just a big loop. Keeps on using that chill water to uh, flow through the air handlers. And that is basically the refrigerant for the air handlers. And that's how we get cool air. All right, so in a nutshell, that's the plant. Big compressors, big air conditioners, basically. They're, uh, we're using the water as refrigerant. The chillers have their own refrigerant. And uh, so we're just transferring heat from that water to this water back out to the tower. It starts all over again. So, looks overwhelming, uh, but the more you see them, where you get used to them and it's pretty basic um, but to cool off large buildings you need chillers so. and we can turn our chillers back on I think we're done for the moment in here let's see what our water temperature got up to uh, only 54. These screens are going to be the next thing to get replaced, it looks like. <laughs>